Hey guys, it's Ev and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going into my senior year of high school in a couple weeks and I thought that I would just share with you guys some of my high school experience and just tips that I have for incoming freshmen or anyone in high school. And yeah, so here's just my experience and my advice. So let's just get started. I have a notebook here. That's why I'm gonna be looking down for part of this. So my first tip or my first like experience realization is that high school is a lot of work. It's a lot of homework. In my case, it was more homework than middle school, but it wasn't like so much more that it was insane. But you are going to have a lot of work and you're going to have to figure out how to manage your time because you might be playing sports, doing clubs, or anything else you do outside of school, plus all of your homework and studying. So really what you should do is just care about your grades and don't slack off because freshman year counts for college too. Like they will see your freshman year. If you took any high school level classes in middle school, those will go on your transcript as well. So just make sure that you care and that you're not slacking off just because it's your first year or any year, but just know that all of your years count in high school for college if college is what you want to do in the future. My second experience slash advice is that I'm 17, I'm going into senior year, I've never had a boyfriend, and yet I'm still alive. So just don't rush into anything, don't feel pressured to have a boyfriend or to put yourself out there and think that you need to be dating. And don't be like ashamed to be single, like if you're the only friend that's single, like it's freeing, it's high school, you're probably gonna move away, probably won't last. I mean, my parents are high school sweethearts, so what am I really saying? I'm really saying that most guys in high school don't look or act like they do in books and in movies, and sometimes you get lucky and meet the right guy, but most of the time it's just gonna suck and you're gonna have to make it through until college as a single girl. But hey, there's nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> but like, you know, like don't feel pressured and don't feel like you have to try to date someone, you know what I mean? Like, you can wait till college, you can just, you know, live your life, you know? It's fine. Don't feel bad if no one asks you out because that just means that the right person isn't there for you in high school. <laughs> and if you want any more like funny stories that I have about like that kind of stuff. I have any funny like crush stories and stuff, you can check out my video. I'll link it right here about embarrassing stories that have happened to me in school. So um, yeah, you should go watch that after you finish watching this just to laugh because you know, we all have silly things happen to us in high school. <laughs> my third experience slash piece of advice is that teachers want to help you and they want to see you succeed. They're not trying to trick you. They're not trying to get you to fail. They want to help you. So just be respectful to them, listen to them when they give you advice, don't be afraid to ask them for advice. And just, yeah, again, be respectful and then they will respect you and trust you. I'm always a super positive, nice, helpful student in the classroom, I answer questions, I ask questions, um, and just because I'm always there on time, I always do what I'm supposed to do, if I happen to run in late because my last class held me too long or if I really had to go up to the bathroom, my teacher will understand because I'm never late, I'm always on time, always doing what I'm supposed to, so just build that kind of trust with your teacher. Number four, guidance counselors will start asking you about college in ninth grade. Like the first meeting you have with them, they'll be like, hey, what colleges are you interested in? What do you think you want to do with your life? They're going to start just putting you on a college track the second you get into high school. So be prepared for that, but don't feel like you have to know what you want to do, where you want to go. Just know that your guidance counselors are going to start asking you those questions. But also don't be afraid to start looking for colleges earlier. Like I started looking at colleges in like seventh grade because we had to do something for our home ec class where we had to like look at colleges. Um, so just don't be afraid to start searching because maybe the college you want to go to has like a scholarship if you take four of these certain like engineering classes or English classes that your school offers. So just make sure that you're taking advantage of the classes that your school has that'll help you save money in college or help you get into the college that you want to go to. So yeah, just don't be afraid to start searching early and just know that people are gonna start asking you about college the second you get to high school. Number five is that taking standardized tests sucks. It's really annoying, the PSAT, the SAT, the ACT, the subject tests, all that crazy stuff. Me personally, I have not taken the ACT. I'm only taking the SAT and that's just what I'm sticking with, what I'm going with for my college applications. But just don't be afraid to start taking those in ninth grade, like take the PSAT in ninth grade and in 10th grade and take subject tests. Like if you take biology in ninth grade, take the biology subject test just because it's practice and it'll help you get better at taking them. So when you take the SAT again in junior year, you'll be ready, you'll be prepared. And it's just good to get that practice in because all the tests are really the same. It's different questions, but the same type of questions. So you kind of just know how to like game the system by the time you need to do well in the test, you'll just be prepared. 
And yeah, it's a fun way to spend your Saturday sitting in a room taking a test for three hours. <laughs> and my last tip experience is just to be open to making new friends, trying new activities, just doing new things in general. Um, because you are going to find new friends, lose some friends just as you grow apart. That's just how life happens in high school. Like there are some friends that I was best friends with in elementary school and middle school that I just don't talk to anymore. Not because anything happened, just because we don't see each other really. But just always be kind to everyone. It doesn't cost anything to be kind, to be nice. And if you're always nice, you'll be able to make friends. And if any drama does happen, you'll never be the one that's caught in the middle or gets in trouble because you're the one always being nice. See, that's my advice. Just be nice to everyone, even if they're mean. I mean, obviously, like, stand up for your friends if someone's being mean to them, but do it in, like, a nice, responsible, mature way. You know what I'm saying? Like, just always be the kind person, the nice person, and that's how you will make friends. That's how you will stay out of crazy drama. And it's just how you will gain respect from people in your school, including the teachers and adults, because they'll see that you are a nice, kind friend. So yeah, that is my like experience advice. If you have any specific questions about my high school experience, definitely comment them down below and I'll make another video. And hopefully it's helpful and I'm going to be uploading another video tomorrow or the day after just about tips for being confident in high school. So stay tuned for that. I'm filming it right now, so I'm going to be wearing the same outfit, but that's okay. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more school advice videos and anything like that. Comment any videos you want to see from me down below. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.